Hello, I'm here today with Hilary and Vesmir Joka. Thank you both for being here and Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Now, a short introduction of you both. Hilary Wilkin, born and raised here in Nebraska. Vesmir Joka, born in Albania and moved here at the age of 17 with parents through a green card lottery. The couple married in 2017, have a son, and now Mrs. Joka, Hillary is a middle school English teacher here in Omaha. Besmir is an entrepreneur in food industry about to open his second restaurant. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. Let's start with a question that I think everybody wants to hear. How did you guys meet? Do you want me to start? Sure, yeah. Uh, <coughs> while I was going through college, I used to work as a custodian at the school where she teaches. And lucky for me, I happened to uh, have to clean her classroom, mm -hmm. and that's how we that's how we met each other. But also, we did. She remembers me more than I remember her. Yeah. Well, we uh, did briefly meet each other in the past. She worked at a Starbucks where I was a regular, and she did look a little bit familiar, but <laughs> I guess, as I said, she remembered me more. Yes. Might be due to my accent. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> my first memory of him is from the, working at the Starbucks. He would frequently come in with some friends. But I, yeah, I, we, you know, in, we met each other and we had long conversations when we uh, started talking with each other. At the, at the school, school. Yeah. At yeah. school. So who noticed each other first? Was it you that noticed him or he that noticed I you? I think or? it was me. Yes. <laughs> it was me. Yeah, it was like before school had started. Um, I was moving into a new classroom. And so a lot of the custodians were helping move boxes in the room and out of the room. And Bess was... <laughs> Not helping. I, I was remember, just lingering around. Yeah, I remember him just... You I made mad at him? Yeah, I, I remember him carrying a, like a dolly an empty dolly up and down the stairs, and I made some kind of joke about him not doing anything. <laughs> so, yeah, but I, um, up until that point, I, I don't think I had really seen him at school. Oh, yes. so. so that's how we met. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, did you notice his accent? Was the accent a point of attraction, you know, added to your yeah. attraction to him? Yeah. Do you I remember mean, anything from that time that, oh my God, look, he, he says this word in a different way? Yes. Yeah. From, I remember when working at Starbucks, uh, like I said, they, it was a group of them that came in pretty frequently and we would, we would joke and imitate their accents and how they ordered because they ordered the same drink it was a dopio espresso and the way that they said it when their accent was kind of comical and so we would imitate it but um yeah his it, the accent it, anybody that has an accent okay. it's like really captivating and it is you know the same with him it was a, you know a very attractive part of uh, you know who he is um so, and it's, yeah, something that he, he, his accent is really thick considering he's been here for a long time, but he was just older when he got here. So, yeah, yeah. it is something that, yeah, you know. And notice. I'm not trying to get rid of it either. Yeah, so. no. <laughs> it makes us unique. <laughs> yeah, it does, it does. It's a good um, thing. How long did you guys date before you introduced um, each other to your families? Um, it wasn't long, it was, well, was it about four or five months? Yeah. Well, we introduced each other to our families earlier, but yeah. before we told them that, we knew it pretty quick. I knew right. it the first day I met her that <laughs> that's the person I'm going to marry. So yeah. it didn't take us long to come to the conclusion that, yeah. I mean, it took me a little bit less than, there was a little bit convincing to be done. <laughs> yeah, but I was happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because it was, we met in January, almost. Yeah, three years ago this yes. month, and and it was shortly after that he met my family, and um, well, like three, about three yeah, months. and then in the summer I had taken him, you know, to my hometown and where he got to, you know, kind of have uh, like closer time with my my parents. And, yeah. So Where it was, yeah, a few months. Yeah. Where is your hometown? It's in the northeast part of Nebraska. It's Bloomfield. Mm -hmm. So it's about three hours north of here. Okay. Now let's enter uh, uh, a part that is a little bit um, 
tricky, not tricky really, yeah. but it can be difficult. Yeah. How about your families? How did they react when you introduced each other? And with, I mean, your family, yeah. with the fact that um, Basmir yeah. is a foreigner and yeah. an immigrant. Yeah. Was there a reaction towards that? Not like, I, not that I experienced it. Obviously, you know, coming, coming from a different culture, people always wonder, does this person share the same values that I do? Do they see things the same way? But they say gonna treat my daughter as I want my daughter to be treated from mm -hmm. both parents. But I felt very welcome since the beginning. And I do remember uh, Pat, yeah, she, my my father's wife. Yeah, Pat. she did say like since the first times we were hanging out, she was like, "You just it just feels so natural having you here. You fit mm -hmm. right in." That's nice. So from my experience, I mean, I didn't see anything that was outstanding. But okay. you know, when I talked to Hillary's father, when I asked him, well, I talked to him twice about our relationship when I first started dating, mm -hmm. and then when I asked. I asked him to give me permission yeah. to marry Hillary. Mm -hmm. And he was, that was, there was some points that came out, like, you know, I do wonder, you know, given that you have a different background, I do wonder what your values are. It was a very construct constructive conversation, but it didn't seem anything that was like, well, I don't mm -hmm. trust who you are, or. And were yeah. those values the same? Uh, they in were, your opinion? They, the, the core values, they were, Mm -hmm. They were the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, we, there was a little bit of difference on like a religious perspective, but yeah. when we came down to talking about how we think about stuff and what our values were, mm -hmm. we, they were the same. Mm -hmm. what, what is your religion background? Uh, Christian. Christian. Mm -hmm. Christian and I, yeah. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. it was, I, that was the only thing that felt like, a conversation that my parents, you know, wanted to have with, you know, both of us, and but they, it was never something where they um, didn't support us or our decision to be together. It was just, um, you know, a difference that they maybe didn't expect with, you know, the person that I would choose to be with. You know, they expected me to marry someone that came from the same, you know, that was that was also a Christian and. Um, but then, you know, time that they, he, they got to spend with Bess, you know, you see who he is and you see that there's those similar kind of values that are shared, even if you're not identifying as, you know, a Christian, you're still caring and thoughtful you and those, human yeah, values yeah, and yeah, so it very quickly became a non, yeah. so it was I've never been, an issue really. It wasn't and I've been really grateful the way they have expected, accepted me, it's just yeah. sometimes you do also wonder like, you wonder what the other people think yeah. of you, obviously, yeah. and we all do. Yeah. But they have made it very easy hanging out with them. It seems seems like I have known them for, yeah. for a very long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. How about when you told your parents that you are dating and you are going to marry an American girl? Uh, they, were, they were fine with it. Fine. They had come, I mean, moving here in the U.S., they had come to realize that their children, they are probably going to marry foreigners. And especially to here in yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are the foreigners now. Yeah. And especially here in Omaha, our yeah. community, yeah. because we're both from Albania, yeah. our community is rather yeah. small. Yeah, so small. Mm -hmm. and also like from my perspective, like when because I came here, I moved actually before coming here when I was seventeen. I moved to Greece when I was like almost fifteen. So I was in Greece for two years. So I was away from Albania for a long time. And then some of the you know thinking about. Made in Albania, and it did just not. It did not click into me. It just yeah. seemed yeah. a yeah. breach of. I mean, there was seemed like a difference in culture, mm -hmm. which obviously that's my culture. But yeah. I yeah. just gotten so used to being here, and yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hillary, did you feel or feel as welcome as yeah, uh, yeah. Has felt yeah. In your family? I did. I yeah. Bessa's family's always been like very loving and very welcoming of me, and. It was more kind of what Bess was saying, like my internal sort of feeling like I didn't want to disappoint them because I don't know any Albanian. And so I just, I felt like I, I didn't want to be someone that they saw as like, well, this person's not fit for our son. She doesn't know anything about our culture or doesn't, isn't trying to learn Albanian or, you know, and it was never that way. You know, they, 
were very welcoming and just, um, yeah, just seemed to like really appreciate our relationship and what, you know, how they saw us together. And in this context, was there any misunderstanding because of the cultural differences and being then between you and your families as well? Yeah. Well, the, the main misunderstanding is that she gets overfed or forcibly <laughs> fed every time she comes at my true. parents' house. Cause it's about eating. Uh, yes, it yeah. is. It really is. Yeah, which is such an it's incredible thing because it immediately makes you feel so at home because it's just like, oh, feed, feed her, feed her. She, yes. And, and it, you know, it just makes you feel like, oh, they want me to stay. Like they keep bringing food and drinks out, um, which was, you know, and it's like you can't say um, I don't want any more because I don't want to be insulting, <laughs> but at some point you just can't have any more. You just have to leave stuff on your plate, and then they're like, "Well, I guess I can't fill it anymore." <laughs> but because that's even how it was when we went to when we visited in Albania, they yes. it was just I I I want to be helpful and I want to just because we were there for a long time. We were there, you know with Bess's family and so I wanted to like be someone that was helping around the kitchen and it was none of that happening. <laughs> yeah. It's like no you, you sit you. and you're the we'll, guest, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is so great. You know, it's very That's hospitable. A, yeah. It is very loving. So That's good. And in your opinion, in between you two right now, what is the the biggest problem that you have encountered in your relationship because of the differences in ethnicity? Mm -hmm. If there is any. Yeah. Uh, I, not that I, I cannot think of anything. I cannot think. Yeah. I mean, from my perspective, it has, you know, given that we have different backgrounds, it has been yeah. sort of a, I mean, it has kind of helped us to talk more to each other, just yeah. not assume that you know, we come from the same background and therefore we have the same thoughts. So it has just been, we have spent more time communicating mm -hmm. what we think, you know, how we feel, kind of explaining our background, like reasons why we do certain things. So there has never been an issue, like an issue where we have, you know, have had a misunderstanding, but it has been very constructive just being able to communicate our thoughts just because we came from that's what at least that's what I think. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, so it has been more beneficial than a problem. It has brought brought more benefits yeah. than uh, than problems. Any other thing, good thing out of this relationship or differences that you may uh, you can think of? Yeah, I mean, I would say just even that I get to experience just this whole a different culture than my own because I'm with with us. You know, just the way his family. You know the way they celebrate, the way that they interact with each other is different than my family. And, um, you know, getting to travel, uh, it is just a, I feel so fortunate to be married to someone that is, has come from a different background and that I get to learn. And, you know, we get to kind of create this new thing together. Um, it's not like one of us is like, no, it has to be this way. And the other is, no, it has to be this way. It's just like, no, well, you, you have this preference, I have this preference, and we just kind of talk through it and figure out what we want together, yeah. which is just really incredible because it's not, you know, like Beth said, we do have to talk through. We've had to, you know, and we continue to have to yeah, talk through okay. differences that we share, um, but it is just like you c get to know each other so much more, and yeah, There's I no just, assumptions. yeah, and I get to share his culture, which is just so incredible. You so know? you don't feel like you're entitled of choices, right? Yeah. Just before you are born here in a relationship, right? You don't right. feel like that. You, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're trying to profit from yeah. as much as you can from yeah. your differences. That's that's good. Yeah. You get Now you have a son. Yes. He mm -hmm. is almost uh, seven months here. Uh, yeah, seven he's months? seven months. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. His name is Desian. Mm -hmm which is a typical Albanian name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whose choice was that and why? Well, I think... It, it was mostly your choice. Yeah, <laughs> I just, I, we wanted to have an Albanian first name and um, Bess's father's name is Bessem and his name is Besmir. And so I wanted to like stick with that Bess as part of uh, Bessian's name. So, um, and it has a really beautiful meaning also. That wasn't the reason that we chose his name. We wanted to have something that was the best route, but 
Um, and can you share the meaning with us? Yeah, it's a, a man of faith. Yes. Yeah, man of faith. So, yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, I figured you did, but yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and he has no a way. middle name that is Raymond, which is, it comes from my family. My One of my grandfather's names was Raymond. So, because in Albanian culture, they don't, no, don't give. No, we yeah. don't have middle no. names. So, I wanted to have something that also reflected my side. But yeah. yeah, and I've heard that case, and I think it's yeah. an excellent choice. Yeah. that the middle name, the first name would yeah. be from father's side, and the yeah. middle name from mom's yeah. side. Yeah. So I think it's a great choice. Yeah, and if we're able to have more children, we'll we will also do a first name that is Albanian. It's That's yeah, we want to carry that tradition yeah. or that culture on, you know, in it's their a, name. It's a unique name. Here. Yeah, it is. yeah. People yeah, and you know, thinking about you know Bessian <clears throat> sharing the Albanian culture, you know, it's maybe he won't know much Albanian language, or the you know family culture that we have won't be specifically Albanian. It'll be kind of like a blend, you know. At least yeah. he'll know his himself name. as Albanian, just given his first name. Yeah. He so. will be able to yeah. always remember Albania yeah. and yeah. his roots, yeah. just because of his name and yeah. last name. Yes, and the last name, yeah. Joka. Joka. Mm -hmm. The letter J is yes. very specific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's uh, Albanian language has 36, le 36 letters. 36, or 36 letters. Yeah. J is one of the letters that you don't really encounter in other languages. Yeah. Was it hard for you to get used to say the last name? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I for sure practiced it quite a few times, <laughs> and even you know my students. I when I when I first when we got married and you know I started the school year I was I was no longer Miss Wilkin I was Mrs. Joka and um, the kids you know I tried to like teach them how to say it you know it's like uh, like just drop the G and like Joka and we were talking about that he's like no you can't drop the G it's a G J you know it goes together so because they you know they would say good Joka and uh, yeah but you know teaching middle schoolers how to say you just whatever is easiest <laughs> yeah it is a difficult uh, yeah. letter to say yeah it is a very difficult letter to say and the letter the letter uh, Y actually has a different sound in Albanian yes. too yeah. yes mm. yeah <laughs> my yes. kids cannot say that <laughs> yeah yeah and the double that L also, yeah. La? Yeah. yes, no, I yeah. can't. Oh, yeah. There's a ja. lot, yes. <laughs> ja. There's there a is. lot of words that I just, my mouth will not be able to say. It's so. really unique. Yeah. Yes, and um, I would like to go back to uh, Bessian. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great uh, choice because he will have the, he will always be reminded of his roots. Yeah. But mm. what is your decision? What, uh, how do you want your son to be identified with in terms of ethnicity? Albanian, American, Albanian American, or? Mm -hmm. Just, I, I would say Albanian American. Albanian. It would be, I want him to get the best of, uh, the best of both cultures. Yeah. And as you know, if he, if he turns out to be a soccer player, obviously, <laughs> he's gonna play for the Albanian team. <laughs> yes. Do you agree he has, that? Made, <laughs> he has made the decision now. <laughs> really? Uh, I mean, that's <laughs> well, when it comes to soccer, yes, yeah. he decides that we will be up that. to him, but I'll <laughs> support him if he yes, chooses yes. the right thing. <laughs> just the just right thing. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we want, we would want him to get the best of both cultures. So, yeah, Albanian, yeah, and, I don't know and what you yeah, even for him to be able to like really appreciate like what your your mom and dad you know offer, like what your family gives to him, you know, for him to like find a lot of value in the Albanian culture just from like, yeah, the songs that your mm. mom sings and, yeah. 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 And um, you said that you traveled to Albania mm -hmm. and so, y and you are exposed to the sound of the Albanian language. Yes. Now it is, it comes a test. How Albanian are you? Yeah, <laughs> not, <laughs> at <all. laughs> not at all. How many words do you know? Yeah, no. I don't know, not maybe a handful. She learned of there is one word, ulu, ulu. Ulu, <laughs> which means yeah, sit. Every sit. time we went like yeah. visiting people, there's like first thing they say is just like ulu. ulu. Yeah. <laughs> so even if she yeah. tried to get up to do something, so she learned that very quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tried to like know like yeah, Philomadera, just because it's like well, that's Thank something you. I can say yes. that shows yes. some gratitude for yeah. all that they're giving. But yeah, I don't know 
and and when we first started spending time together, I did. I did really press best to like teach me, teach me some of the words, teach me some of the language, and he didn't, which is fine. <laughs> but it, you know, at first it was more, it was challenging just because we, you know, when I'm with his, when I was with his family, it would be they would be speaking Albanian, and I just felt like I was missing out on so much because Bess would, you know, stop and say what they're talking about, but it's like, well, I can't be a part of this conversation. I can't. Also, because you're done talking about it now, <laughs> I'm just hearing it. And it's gotten a lot better. I mean, I just kind of appreciate listening to them, you know, share mm -hmm. stories if they're speaking in Albanian. Or they, a lot of, I mean, they don't really. They speak English when I'm around, yeah. which is really, I know that it comes more naturally for them to speak Albanian, Albanian to each yeah. other. So I feel really thankful when they do speak English when I'm there, knowing that I'm the only one that's, <laughs> you yeah, know, they're, they're only they're doing, doing it for me. For yeah, which is very thoughtful. Yeah, but. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, how about we talk a little bit about superstition? Yeah. <laughs> superstition. It's a lot of superstition. Yeah. You know, when I moved to the United States and yeah. I was told that you cannot really walk under a ladder because yeah. it brings bad luck, yeah. I was like, how can that be bad luck? Yes. Do you know any Albanian superstition? Yeah, we, we were, yes. Um, one thing that we were just talking about this, it, uh, at New Year's, I had, Bess's mom was saying, she was telling a story, I can't even remember what she was saying, and I, I just sneezed in the middle of what mm -hmm. she was saying, and she's like, oh, it's true. And, and I, was, I didn't even think anything it's of it. It's more of a confirmation. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, well, if someone sneezes when, I'm, when you're saying something, then it means that whatever you're saying is, in fact, the truth. I'm like, oh, well, you're totally going to use that. That's great, you know? But there's, I, I know that there's been so many things that even just like um, medicine and how you, you know, heal ailments is not, you know, that's not, you know, not what I grew up doing. Right. So it's a little bit different than, not that they're superstitions, it's just like a different way of handling. Yeah, different. Some yeah. of them are superstitions. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, maybe that's true. Well, do you know that you cannot take trash out after sunset? No, the, sun <laughs> the prosperity <laughs> will leave wrong. the house. <laughs> so you cannot cut your nails after sunset either. <laughs> no, no you know don't that. know that. The one I remembered when I was growing up, is like if you whistle when it's dark, you bring in the bad spirits. <laughs> really? <laughs> See, that's yeah. new to me too. But I mean, I'm there are so many. I'm sure yeah. they were trying to stop us from whistling. Yeah, they just, like yeah, there's some it. logic <laughs> behind it, you know, they just so, want you to stop. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, it's almost, uh, time is almost over, but I would like to wrap up the conversation with a question that it's not as funny, but it's something yeah. that I think I would like to ask you. In today's um, uh, political atmosphere, there's a lot of uh, talk regarding immigrants. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like you have made a mistake that you married an immigrant, mm -hmm. or do you relate that conversation to your partner? Yeah, I mean, I I would never I would never say that it felt like I feel regret or anything. I mean, I feel just so much more gratitude that I have you know, married Bess, who comes from a very different background and who is an immigrant, you know. It's never, I, I, I don't think of him as an immigrant. I don't think of him as, you know, um, I think of him as an American citizen. And I realize that, you know, his background is, you know, very different than mine, but it, his, who he is as a person is, you know, what, who I have, chosen to marry and and I and I also were surrounded by you know our family and our close friends they just celebrate life you know they want to you know we're just surrounded by people that want to learn from each other and like really enjoy differences in one another and whether that's you know a different religion or a different ethnicity or whatever it is it's just um, feel I've never been I've never felt like yeah, the, the yeah, groups that, that we, was, we uh, have around, like the people that we surround, are surrounded by, they just don't seem to think about immigration as sometimes yeah. you get betrayed by the media or, you know, how it yeah. seems like everybody's against them. That we just have been lucky to have a really good group of people who yeah. just appreciate who you are rather than where yeah. you come from. Yeah. Appreciate the difference. Yeah. 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 All right. 
Well, thank you both for being here, and I wish you both a happy new year. And I thank know, you. Besmir, you're opening your restaurant on the 7th. Yes, Is that right? Yes, Good yes, luck. very exciting. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. All right.